Hey everyone, hello, 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 it's me again. I just wanted to add uh, very quickly one or two things to what I've said before in the previous reading. Um, I know that I won't reach with such a reading or with such a video as many people as I would if I just upload another pick a card reading like, what is he thinking? <laughs> I know that, I'm suggesting that maybe a 100 people are listening to what I'm saying here. But anyways, I'm willing to make the effort, I'm willing to put myself out there and not only myself, my thoughts, my experience as a life coach, as a yoga teacher. And I really feel that this is my duty. My duty is not only to offer you different kind of readings, you know, where I may uh, unwillingly help you to keep up the hope for something or someone which is not about to come in the future, um, my duty instead is to increase people's awareness and people's consciousness. I mean, this is why I am a yoga teacher. My, being a yoga teacher is not only to teach different kind of poses, you know, like down dog and triangle, but it's, uh, yeah, to help the people to deal with the consequences of being who you are. And this, uh, yeah, that does not always look pretty. This is damn hard to be honest with you. And I just felt that I missed maybe one or two last things in the previous um, reading. So um, the name is Waiting, Hoping, Healing. So, and the question was, why the hell are you listening to three million different pick a card readings telling you whether he's coming back and so on and so far. You know, I was talking about waiting and that this is a typical women thing that we uh, yeah, spend a lot of time trying to please other people and a lot of time waiting for someone to come or to come back uh, depending on the situation. So the thing is, um, what I forgot to mention is you are waiting for your ex-boyfriend or your crush or, you know, I don't know, your husband to show you their love because there is an inner void that you are trying to fill out. Or if um, for some of you, it might be the subject unreturned love. You know, you love someone, someone broke up with you, you've been together for a while and then he said, okay, you know what, I don't love you anymore. It's not about you, it's about me. Maybe he found, he met someone else. You know, the, the typical stuff. I mean, you can look at any Hollywood movie, it's always the same story. So um, if someone um, is rejecting you, um, it that's... Yeah, it just it simply hurts. <laughs> you know, what you, what you feel is, is, is pain. And um, we are trying to avoid pain. I mean, in every way. We are trying to avoid physical pain, of course. I mean, this is why we do not jump out of a window. <laughs> um, or that we do not put ourselves, um, um, how you say it, purposely into a car accident. Because we want to avoid pain. And... Every time you feel pain, whether it's emotional pain or physical pain, you try to stop that pain. You try to stop that feeling. And um, listening to pick a card readings in the internet on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram, contacting card readers, paying good money for them, you know, to tell you what you want to hear. And then to be in this hold, to be in this waiting line, you know, because maybe they tell you, I mean, if you listen to all those readings, have you ever mentioned um, that most of the readings out there in YouTube are positive? I mean, no offense to anyone, but most of the readings are positive. I mean, I hope that what I'm saying here is also something positive and a up, an uplifting message for you, but I'm not using cards. I'm not trying to keep up anyone's hopes um, um, for nothing, you know, because I really, I deeply believe that this is the worst thing that can happen to keep up someone's hopes 
just for nothing at the end. You know, at the end of the day, you figure out that, hmm, my ex-boyfriend never came back, even though I paid maybe $100 for different uh, card readers. And they all told me, yes, he still has feelings. Yes, he's just a little bit unsecure at the moment. Maybe he has to deal with his own stuff and, you know, and so on. So, um, well, um, to come straight to the point, to avoid feeling this pain and this hurt, we are using several um, different kinds of defense mechanisms. You know, this can be projection, this can be compensation, you know, going out, drinking alcohol, um, talking too much, uh, partying in an excessive way. You know, these are different kinds of strategies that we all used or still are using, you know. And um, one big defense mechanism is, by the way, denial, <laughs> as I mentioned before. So this is those picking out only the good news, only the good pick a card readings, you know, the ones who are saying, no, he's not coming back. Oh, you stop them immediately because you don't want to hear that because that hurts again. You know what I'm saying? So um, uh, what I wanted to point out is, and this is what I missed in the first reading or in the first video, um, I know why we are doing it and this is nothing bad. This is just human, you know, we are all humans. We don't want to feel rejected. We don't want to be um, hurt. And um, the thing is that we have to find other strategies to deal with this pain, with this inner void and pain. And I was asking my angels, um, for those who are listening to my words here now, especially to this second video, what would be the solution right now? What is the solution to deal with this inner void and pain? And the answer is clarity. You know, it's um, the angels are reminding you that the solution is not thinking over and over and over again about someone or what happens, whether it's now concerning your ex or your crush or maybe even your childhood. Yeah, the thing is to um, there is an affirmation here down there. My mind is calm and steady and clear. You know, in German is, mein Geist ist ruhig, still und klar. And I mean, isn't that beautiful? Because this is yoga. <laughs> this is what I'm teaching. I'm trying to teach people to become a calm and clear mind. You know, not that monkey mind mentality, but instead a calm and clear mind. And um, yeah, so this is number one, what the angels told me. And number two, let's make that quick. Two other cards came out. What, number one is abundance. And number two is um, the situation will get better. So I think um, what the angels want us to know here, if we read these three cards in combination and in correlation, it is if you find a way, no matter whether this is singing, swimming, riding, going for walks, talking with people, it can be yoga, it can be meditation, it can be listening to a certain kind of music, it can be reading good books. You know, I already recommended you a few books here on my channel. Then our mind will become clearer and clearer, you know, clarity will happen. And then the situation will get better. And then we are happen to experience abundance so this is what i was yeah i think this is a wonderful um, conclusion to what i was trying here to mention and to explain you know it's nothing bad and you don't have to feel ashamed if you spend a lot of time in the internet or contacting card readers spending money and so on but please be aware that if you want to be happy from deep within, nobody else can bring you that happiness. You, can, you have to find that inside yourself, you know, inside yourself. And in order to find that happiness 
and that abundance inside yourself. You need a calm and clear mind. Okay? Yeah, so um, this is it. Thank you very much, people, for listening. Thank you very, very much for all your beautiful comments. I'm receiving comments and feedback on a daily basis. So I was just reading two um, new comments that people took the time writing me. I really, really appreciate it. I think we are a beautiful community here, even though we don't know each other. <laughs> even though you never seen me, I never saw you, and we probably never will. But still, there is kind of a unity between us. And um, yeah, I'm very happy and grateful to experience it. And I hope, I really hope that my words are uplifting and they can help you to yeah create a new state of mind thank you very much namaste